All right, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw that uh, buyers were active at yesterday's low, 51.75, and uh, we got a bounce up to the overnight resistance at 58 to 60, where we're now seeing some uh, short-term rotation. So right now, the market is basically trading within the 17.49 to 17.73 trading range, and um, basically that's the short-term balance area that we're currently working with and um, at this point you know based on yesterday's reaction at 51.75 and the overnight reaction um, we've seen that buyers are active at the balance area low and um, we may have to head up now to the 64 to 66 area or the 67.75 to 68.75 to attract some sellers in this market now given yesterday's liquidation to the balance area lows and uh, the relative weakness in the Russell I think it's going to make for a two-sided market where we'll get rotational price action at the resistance zones and uh, you know we can still get buyers at support and one of the main questions we're going to be answering today is whether there's enough strength in the market to hold within this trading range and balance area right so if ES heads down to initial support, the question's going to be, you know, how's the market looking in real time? Does it look like 51.75 can still hold yet again? Because it is going to be a third time down there. Or is it more likely that we're going to poke below, test the bull bear zone, you know, fill that naked V pocket at 17.50, and then get some sort of buy response? So, uh, you know, as ES heads down there, that's the main question we're going to be answering and uh, based on that that's going to help us figure out you know do we attempt a long setup at initial support or do we let it go and uh, wait for the bull bear zone to get tested now as long as we hold above the bull bear zone we can still get moves back up towards 1758 and uh, potentially higher but if we break and liquidate below the bull bear zone then we need to be cautious on the long side now you know considering it's the last day of the month and um, the overall bullish context we can still expect buyers to be active at the support zones below the bull bear zone it's just that we're gonna be more cautious uh, taking long setups there so that means um, you know if we liquidate below 4875 um, at the 42 half to 44 half zone you know, we may wait towards the bottom of the zone to attempt a long, or if the liquidation move is just starting around 48, then we might let it flush down towards 1740 before we attempt any type of long setup. Um, you know, because the, the major support below 48 is at the 36 to 38 area. And a lot of times when we get liquidation moves, uh, the market can move 8 to 10 points before it's short-term exhausted right so the safest spot below the bull bear zone is 36 to 38 and those support zones in the middle um, you know call for caution and uh, that's why if the move is just beginning and uh, you know it looks like the market is liquidating and breaking below balance then we want to avoid the longs at uh, the support zones in between and perhaps wait till 36 38 gets hit uh, before we try along and ideally uh, you know we're on board for the short side when that happens um, you know based on um, how we read the market in real time you know if the balance break below bull bear zone is on um, strong negative internals strong negative tick then it's probably going to continue and go down towards that you know at least 42 43 area or potentially lower so we'll see if we can uh, you know hop on board with uh, an aggressive short setup there too so, uh, you know, today the main idea is going to be that ES holds the bull bear zone, right? And uh, that we continue trading within this range. Um, that's going to be the main focus on the day time frame. And uh, we're only going to shift away from that if the market clearly shows us that the sell side is in control. And, um, you know, then we'll start to be more active on the short side until the market gets short term exhausted or hits a decent support area um, you know on the downside but uh, until we break the bull bear zone 
um, you know, we're going to consider trades on both sides, long and short, but uh, we're going to be cautious on the shorts and uh, still be more focused on the long side. If we break the bull bear zone, then we can take some shorts and be cautious on the long side at the support zones below, but still consider the longs. And um, as long as we hold within this range, then we can consider shorts up towards, uh, you know, 64 to 66. 67.75 to 68.75 is a very good uh, short location on first test. So, uh, you know, we'll consider that trade setup. And overall, you know, we'll look for a, uh, you know, maybe a 12 to 15 point type range uh, where the market just trades back and forth within the current range um, as we close out this month. So those are main ideas. The main catalyst, Chicago PMI, out at uh, 8.45 a.m. Central and uh, comes out to subscribers a little bit before that. So, uh, you know, the early morning can be um, a bit choppy. So, uh, you know, we'll be careful off the open. And once the PMI is out of the way, then I think we'll start getting some normal rhythms in the market. So those are our main ideas. Let's see how the open plays out and, uh, you know, how the internals hold up off the open. And we'll take it from there.